nations and be like them. These African nations and be like them. Be the children that the Most High made you, the children of the Lord. That was just another example of Babylon. What's your question? What do you guys like worshiping? Like what is this? Like Catholic, Christian? No, this is Hebrew Israelites. You are the real Jews according to the Bible. The blacks, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians of Indian and Negro descent are the real Jews and Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Right. The, chosen, the chosen people of God. And we are telling our people to return to God's laws because America and the power structure that we see now is about to be destroyed and we're about to rule forever and ever ever. That's what we did represent. Form yourself. Form yourself. All right. So according to the Bible, we got to repent. All right. And if you don't repent, you're going to stay stuck here with America and be destroyed. Right. So like I was saying, don't follow these other nations' ways. That's what happens, man. You black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you follow these other nations' ways and you get destroyed. You try to be like them. You want to be like them. Then you Negroes go on a scepter train in damn Philadelphia and right. rape a woman in front of a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And people record it and don't do anything about it. Was the woman Eve? Yeah, she was Eve. Was yeah. Eve she was right? Eve, yeah. And niggas recorded it. Yeah, they just. That would have been a perfect time for them to whoop him ass up and down the train. Right? That would have been a perfect time for that. That's our brother. Well, he he de dealing What's with spirits. With yeah, D. What's up with brother D? D having sp spirits. But anyway, yeah, that would have been a perfect time, a perfect time yeah, for like, them. You have an argument with somebody. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me. D. Yeah, but that would have been a perfect time for them to get together right. and put in some work on him. Right. They was killing each other. They said, uh, 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 52 women. Right. Already been killed in Philadelphia right. in 2021. That's crazy. They said that's more than any year. They said there's a there's a thing in Philly now. Uh, uh, they killing the women. Yeah, them them a different type of breed out there in Philly. Yeah, man. yeah, they're a different. They type on of breed, some man. other stuff. Yeah, they're a different type. But them niggas out there is on something. Yeah, and you gotta like be toe to toe with them niggas. Yeah, yeah. They were scheming on me in the hotel. Wow. When I was in Philly, um, I had the the gold chain like this. Right. And you know them dumb niggas thought it was real. Right. Yeah. They see it from a distance. They know it's custom jewelry. Right. Right. But um, from a distance or whatever, the, especially the gold when it looks real because it don't turn. Right. The chains don't turn, but they custom jewelry, right. so they look real because they don't turn. Right. So Jay, they in the hotel. And I had to like stare them niggas in their eyes like, yeah. nigga, I'm not, even if it was real, I'm not the one. Right. I don't even have a gun on me. The minute I see y'all niggas reaching, I'm going for your neck. Right. You think you're going to stick me up in this hotel? Right. No, 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 no. So you got to, you them niggas, they on a whole nother level. Yeah, that's Philly cast. So I had something. to stare them niggas in their eyes like, I'm not the one to scheme on, nigga. Right. And not, not that I'm the toughest nigga in the world, but that's what I got to do with them. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I see what y'all niggas doing. Them niggas, they looking, looking at them and staring at my chest, they glancing at each other. Look at, I know, I finished, you know when niggas wanna line you up. Right. You tell, you see when niggas trying to line you up. Right. So I had to like, walk by them niggas and stare them niggas in their eyes like, I see what y'all niggas doing, it ain't sweet like that. You know what I'm right. saying? I know what y'all niggas is up to. And if I see one of y'all niggas reaching, I'm going for your throat. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have to kill me in here, nigga, or I'ma get that gun from you and kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they, they kind of look like, huh? That's what he had. Yeah, the nigga, nigga, when I when I got up on him, he saw, you know what I'm saying? Cause then again, a lot of times niggas prey on the weak. Right. If you they see you a nigga not having it, they gonna think twice. Right. They, they want an easy target. They what they call a soft target. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't want a nigga that's really gonna put up a fight and be a hassle. Because right. they want a soft target. They're an easy thing. Yeah, they call it, yeah. Like we used to say back in East New York, an easy thing. Right. right? But I walked up on a nigga and I walked by him. And I stared at nigga straight in his grill as I walked by him. Stared him straight in his grill. Like, nigga, I, if you reach for something, I'm going for your neck. He's like, yo, yo, yo you got a cigarette? He tried to throw it off by asking you for a cigarette. Then the nigga was scheming on him. I saw what he was doing, man. Right. Those Philly niggas is, is bugged out, man. Then them niggas is kind of bugged out, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, oh, um, right? No, give me the curse in Deuteronomy. Um, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. 
Yeah, man, I'm Philly right. dudes. That real, real stuff. I ain't gotta make this up. Right. I was in, I was in the Sheridan downtown of Philly. Mm -hmm. We went, you know, we went there for a weekend to do a unity camp. Right. And I, I stayed in a hotel, and them niggas were sizing me up, man. Right. And I had to look at them niggas like, you know, I ain't listen, son. I ain't the one. Right. And you go, we we gonna do all this over a, a custom chain. Right. All right, a custom menorah. What you gonna do with a menorah, nigga? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even if it was real, what you gonna do with a menorah? Now, if it's real, okay, you might try to go get it melted down or pawn it or whatever, or just wear it like, yo, I took this from an Israelite nigga. Yeah. Right. This shit is fly, son. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but whatever, I'm like, yo, I ain't going out like that, man. Right. You know, you not, you know, when you when you know certain street stuff, you gotta sometimes you gotta let a nigga know you're not having it, yeah. and they'll fall back because cats cats want an easy, they want an easy vic, they want an easy talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. This is Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse fifty-four. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not finna do this over a damn custom chain. Right. Man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, brother. Right. Why are you serious? Go ahead. So that the man that is tender among the you, the man that is tender among you, God, and very delicate, and very delicate, come on, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Yeah, man, they were scheming on me, man. Yeah. But all the white men up in the—that's the damn Sheridan. Right. It's probably Edomites with damn million-dollar credit cards in there. Right. Breaking their room, God, breaking their room, and put a gun in their head and say, "Yo, give up the pin number." Now give me your card and give up the pin. Go get some real money, nigga. Right. Instead of scheming on your brother, all them Edomites all right. up in there, you ain't gonna rob none of them. Right. But that's how they are. Bro. I'm like, yo, happy Hanukkah, nigga. Yeah, give me that chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that nigga, you know, I, I, and I ain't the baddest mofo in the world. Right. Anybody can be got. Right. They could have grabbed my little ass up and right. had me pinned up and had the gun to my jaw, but. Right. You know, I, I had to look him in the eye like, son, you know, uh, you know, I ain't no herb ass nigga. Right. So, yo, oh, you got a cigarette? You got a cigarette? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to play that shit off. Because I know niggas look for an easy fix sometimes. Right, right, right. Yeah, they look for an easy fix. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. some of these cities, you got to be wise, man. You know, you right. just got to move in wisdom. Because, you know, niggas will try you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, if you're not smart, you know the most high put you the most high jam you up right because you tempted the spirit you know what I'm saying so you do got to be wise you know you don't just walk through niggas like you superman because right. you got some fringes on you still you twist them you know what i'm saying philly like, is a know, chicago or the east coast man yeah man you know what i'm saying <laughs> but, you know, it's a, a different times, breed they man. see you israel and they like we was in chicago and uh for the summit in 20 i think 2018 and uh in chicago it's just wild man yeah. like, we was knee deep in the hood, and I say one thing, we didn't have no problems. Right. We was knee deep in the hood, especially where the, where the brothers had the summit out, it was right on the south side. <laughs> right in the hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they were just walking up to us like, yo, man, what y'all got going on today? I see all all y'all got that stuff on, man. What y'all doing? Right. They were just asking questions and they right. they fell back. They left us alone. Right. They fell back. We was in the heart of the hood. It was it was gutter over there. Right. But they Israel, we had no smoke for the whole night. Mm -hmm. Brothers going to the liquor store, getting their wine, they strong drink, niggas was all up in there on the corner, on the no problems. No right. problem. Nobody said nothing to us, nothing. Yeah, Jake was just Jake was just more intrigued. Right. Like what y'all y'all got all that stuff on, man. What y'all doing? Right. What y'all got going on over here? So we was breaking it down. Some brothers we was teaching on the side. Mm -hmm. They was asking questions, you know. You see some of the gangster niggas pull up, they nod their head, you know, whatever. We had no no problems, man. No problems the whole weekend in the city. You know, but it was rough out there, man. Right. That still don't mean I'm not just going to walk through some wild ass hood. Right. So you're the most high with me. I got my friends on. Niggas ain't doing nothing. You still got to be wise. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still got to be wise. But you know, when the most high is with you, you know, they're going to kind of fall back to me. Give me Saint, uh, Matthew 10, 16. Matthew 10, 16. It went out. All right. They have to see the rest on mustard seed. <laughs> right, come All right. Yo, G is bugging out. Yeah, he has All a right. whole <laughs> conversation <laughs> with himself, man. Oh, you smoke? Yeah, we got a Mac on. What time is it? It's 12.30. Okay, yeah, come. All right, read. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16. Read it out. 
Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. The Lord said we're like sheep in the midst of wolves. Go ahead. Be ye therefore wise as serpents. Go ahead. And harmless as doves. See that? The Lord said be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. I see you fall. We like sheep in the midst of wolves. So you still got to be wise. You know, you can't be too cocky. Right. And too, you know, because then the most high, you know, most high line you up for not using wisdom. Right. You still got to use wisdom. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the same time, you know, most high be with you, man. 